Let's try that again. Label our sides. I'm looking from that 60 degree angle. My right angle points at the hypotenuse. So this must be my hypotenuse. On the far side from the 60 degree angle is my opposite side. And the side right beside it is going to be my adjacent side. Write down Sokotoa. All right, let's go through the sides we're using. I know my opposite side, so I'm gonna have to use one with an opposite. I'm looking for my hypotenuse. So my ratio is gonna have the opposite and the hypotenuse. I don't know my adjacent. I haven't been asked to find my adjacent, so it's not important right now. So anything with an adjacent side in it isn't useful to us right now. Cos ratio, not useful right now. Tan ratio, got the adjacent as well. Not useful right now. It's another sign question. Write my formula down. All right, let's put in what we know. Instead of theta, we're gonna put the angle of 60 degrees. Instead of the opposite side, we're gonna put that 17. And instead of the hypotenuse, we're gonna put the variable y. Put it over one, and we have a cross multiplying question. Now it's very important to note that the variable doesn't always go in the top or the bottom. It goes in the slot that matches the side you're looking for. I was looking for the hypotenuse, in my formula, the hypotenuse is on the bottom, so when I wrote it down, I put my variable on the bottom. Last question, I was looking for the opposite side. Opposite was on the top, so I put my variable in the top. All right, let's get rid of that sine of 60, turn it into a decimal. Sine of 60 degrees equals 0 0.866. Let's cross multiply. And y ends up being 19.6. I'm going to do a quick check. The hypotenuse should be the longest side of a triangle, and looks like my y, which is a hypotenuse, is longer than the opposite side. Looks good to me. Next example. Now this triangle might look similar to the very first one, but it's not exactly the same. Let's label the sides and I'll show you why. Right angle points at the hypotenuse, so that three talks about the hypotenuse. I'm looking from that angle, so the opposite side of the triangle will be, well, and the last side, the leg that's beside my angle, is going to be my adjacent side. Write down Sokotoa. All right, let's look at what we've got. I know my hypotenuse. I'm looking for my adjacent. I don't know my opposite. So for this question, it doesn't matter. For this question, I can scratch out any of the ratios that involve the opposite side, because it's not important to me right now. Sine has opposite. We're not going to use it. Tan has opposite. We're not going to use it. But the cos, that's got both adjacent and hypotenuse. That's what I'm working with in my question. So this must be a cos question. Let's write out a formula. Cos of theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's fill in our numbers. Instead of theta, I'm gonna put in my 43 degrees. Instead of adjacent, I'm going to put a y down. And instead of the hypotenuse, I'm going to put a three. My variable went in the top slot because I'm looking for my adjacent side and the adjacent side is in the top of the formula. Let's turn it into a proportion and let's solve. Once again, turn that cos of 43 into a decimal. Cos of 43 is 0 0.731. And let's cross multiply. Y ends up equaling 2.2. There's my missing side length. Here's another triangle and another missing side. Let's label the sides to figure out what type of question it is. Right angle points at the hypotenuse. I'm looking from that angle there. So the far side of the triangle is my opposite side and the leg that is beside my angle must be my adjacent. Write down Sokotoa. All right, which sides do we have? Got my opposite, so I'm using that. I wanna find my adjacent, so I'm using that. Today, the hypotenuse is a side that doesn't really matter. So anything with a hypotenuse isn't useful. Look at that. Tan has both opposite and adjacent. That's the one I'm going to use. Let's write our formula down. Put in what we know. My angle is 60 degrees. My opposite side is 17. And I don't know my adjacent. Put that over 1. And let's cross multiply. Well, first, let's turn that tan of 60 degrees into a decimal. Then we'll cross multiply. When I work through the cross multiplying, I find that y, my adjacent side, ends up equaling 9.8 units. Let's do one last example. You're getting to know the drill. Let's label those sides. Write down Sokotoa. Let's look at what we've got. I know my adjacent side. I want to find my opposite side. I don't know my hypotenuse, nor am I asked to find it. So it's not an important piece of this question. So anything with a hypotenuse is not useful to us. 
we have another tan question. Let's put in what we know. Turned it into proportion, changed tan of 43 into a decimal, and let's cross multiply. If I multiply those two numbers out, I end up with 2.8. The opposite side of our triangle is 2.8 units long. <laughs>